What's up, guys? So, <clears throat> Deuteronomy 5.21. Deuteronomy 5.21. And it says, do not have a desire for your neighbor's wife. Do not desire your neighbor's house, his field, his maid servant, his bull, his donkey, and anything that belongs to to your neighbor. That's Deuteronomy 5.21. i read again. Do not have a desire for your neighbor's wife. Do not desire your neighbor's house. His field, his maidservant, his bull, his donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Deuteronomy 5.21 And what I get from this is that God doesn't want us to have a desire of what's inside the house of our neighbor's house and what's on the outside of our neighbor's house because that, that scripture in that book was up on the jealousy and these days and times jealousy can mess up relationships jealousy can mess up future relationships because of we see what our neighbor has and we want it and what happens that brings on jealousy and brings on man I'm gonna take that and it brings on different other things that we do not need to be a part of and God is warning us about about the code that, okay, do not do this. Do not have the desire. Because this is going to bring on this, 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 and this, and this. And God is warning us. Because he don't want us to fall into a trap. Of having that desire. Over what the next man have. Or next person have. Next man, next woman. And it's, it's a warning. And I hope this encourages you that we don't need to fall into that trap of what the next man have because it brings some jealousy. And I know I find myself saying, it, like, if I drove again, because I saw a C8. I think it was, yeah, yesterday, I saw a C8. I was like, man, if I could drive again, I'd drive that car. But it's not like having that desire over, I don't know how to explain it. But it's not having that desire to to take that person's car. And then it's just saying, I like that car. But when jealousy come on, upon, what happens? Maybe we wonder and wonder and wonder. And that's why we got to be careful not to fall in that trap of jealousy. Because our mind it begins to wonder. And God wants us to be careful. And he loves us. He don't want us to fall into the, the traps of the enemy. Because it's easy to do. I done fell in some traps. Anybody done fell in some traps of the enemy. But glory be to God that he picks us up, back up with his righteous right hand. And keep helping us to, um, to keep moving. But I hope this encourages you of what was read. I love you. 
God bless you. Peace. What's good? What's up? What's up? So, when we think about more about the scripture, about Deuteronomy, about how God is warning us, because I was just sitting here thinking about more and more about it, that what's for that person is for that person, and what is for us is for us. You know what I mean? God provides for each and one of us. And we don't have to have the desire to want to, uh, to take and because we better than that. We are better than that to, to take from each other. And that's what God was trying. That's what God is warning us about. I mean, He's not trying. He already telling us. Let me rephrase that. And because we see that in today's time, what jealousy can do. And. He loves us so much. And just think about this scripture, how it applies today. How it applies today. Because we can see it. We can, it's clear as day. Why God w warns us about it. And we definitely holler at y'all later. Peace. Love you.